let's talk about other settlement companies because a title insurance company is also considered a settlement company in that, yes, you got the buyer and you market the home and everything, but in order to close that transaction, you need help. You need these other companies that we may refer to as settlement companies or settlement providers. So that leads us to a law called RESPA. RESPA is a federal law, which means in all 50 states, that pretty much governs licensees no kickbacks. So kickbacks are illegal. So one of the things you're going to find out, which is a, a good part of our business, and here's how I usually try to explain it. Here's you. You're the buffalo killer, right? The buffalo killer is the most important person in the village, right? Sure, the guy who sweeps tries to take credit that he's important in the village. The person that makes like the little clay pots, you know, they, oh, without me, you wouldn't have a bowl. But at the end of the day, without the buffalo killer, the village starves. So the most important person in the village is the one that can run barefoot on the Serengeti and bring down that 1,200-pound buffalo and drag him in by the tail. And, of course, once you're doing that, all the villagers jump in like, oh, I'll help you, big daddy. Okay, so, but prior to that, they're cowering in the bushes. So you are the most important person in the deal. Rightfully so, rightfully so. Without you, nothing happened. But what happens is when you've secured that contract, that purchase agreement between a willing buyer and a willing seller for a meeting of the mind's price and terms, there's other terms in that agreement. Like who are we going to use for escrow? Who are we going to use Oh, there we go. Frown just left you. Now you're understanding. Okay. So who are we going to use for escrow? Who are we going to use for title? What lender are we going to use? Now, if you ask most people, they couldn't name you one escrow company. They couldn't name you one title company. And even though there's a million lenders, what do people do to me? Armando, uh, who do you use? Because they think, if they use a vendor that I use, they're going to get a better deal, which they probably will. So we, as the Buffalo Killer, we pretty much dictate what escrow company is going to get used. We pretty much dictate what title company is going to be used. We, we can really influence what lender we're going to use. So what RESPA does, it says, because they realize that we have so much influence over the settlement providers, they pass this law that actually you can probably guess the RE. What's the RE? Real estate. But the rest of it is Settlement Procedures Act. So the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act. And what it says is, if you get a kickback by referring these people, that's illegal. Now, if you're gonna do it, maybe get it in Bitcoin but definitely no checks. So RESPA says you should not be referring these settlement providers only because you're going to get kickback. You should be referring them because it's in the best interest of your client. And it's a very big deal. So for state exam, you need to know that RESPA is a federal law and it pretty much talks about kickbacks being illegal. Well, what about dinner? That's a kickback. What about a trip to Maui? That's a kickback. So nothing of value. I think they have a cap of like a bottle of water they can give you. But escrow title lender, and you realize how important you are to the deal. Rightfully so, because without you, nothing happened, right? You're the one who got this. And that's why another good thing in the business is you don't need kickbacks. What you need is service. So the good news is when you guys all get licensed, whatever office you end up in, maybe some of you will work with me whatever office you end up in, these settlement providers are going to be your best friends. You're going to all of a sudden be the popular kid. Hey, 
good to see you, congratulations. And they're going to try to, you know, razzle and dazzle you because they know that you're going to bring them business. They're not going out there to the public trying to sell escrow. They're trying to sell you. So the good news is they don't make any money unless you make money. So one of the good things is when you're starting out, you can really lean on them. You can say, hey, listen, uh, could I ask you some questions before I go on my listing appointment in case they have a question on how escrow works? They'll go, sure. Hey, could I ask you some questions about how title insurance really works? Sure. Hey, could you qualify some of my buyers so I don't drive all over town just to find out they can't afford the house? Or could you qualify them so they know how much they can afford? So these people end up being actually very important team members for you, rightfully so. But it shouldn't be because you're getting a kickback. It should be because they're giving great service, great service. So that's RESPA, that's RESPA.